Hi, welcome to Vegan Go Go. This is a vegan cooking show. My name is Jess, and today we're making some focaccia. Um, I've already got some water here, and it's warm. I've also dissolved some sugar. You can use agave nectar, um, whatever kind of sweetener you like. And I'm going to just sprinkle on some active dry yeast. And this is one package, or about one tablespoon. And so we're just going to let this sit for about five minutes while it blooms. Okay, so we will hopefully have some active yeast and we'll get back to you in about five minutes. Our yeast looks like it is nice and foamy, so we're going to start adding our other ingredients. And I've got some salt here. And I've also got about half a cup of diced up onion. Put that in. And I'm also, whoops, also going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. We're just going to mix that up real quick, and then we're going to start adding our flour. And I've got about five cups of flour here, and we may or may not use that much. So we're going to start out and just add um, a couple of cups at a time and just mix it up. Hopefully my bowl is big enough. So I added a, probably a little bit more than five cups of flour, and I just kept adding it till you know it um, seems like the dough doesn't want to take anymore. So it's still nice and soft and pliable, and uh, we're just kneading it now for about five minutes. And um, after it's done, after we're done kneading it, uh, we're just going to put it in a, an oiled bowl and cover it up and let it rise for about 20 minutes. So our focaccia has risen. I'm just going to spread it out on my pan here. I put some parchment paper down. You don't have to do that. Just a little, little flour. It smells really good. You know, you can use this recipe if you don't want to go and um, make focaccia. You can also make some pizza dough out of this. So it's the basic, basically the same idea. You may want to leave out the onions, though. So we're just going to spread this out. To fill up our whole pan here and then I'm going to put some rosemary and some olive oil on top and we're going to let it rise again for another 10 minutes or so so I'll just finish spreading this out okay so I'm just going to put some indentations in it a couple little holes here and there and drizzle a little little olive oil you can do one to three tablespoons of olive oil. Just give it a nice drizzle. Okay, and some rosemary. Um, you can do oregano. You can even change this to um, Kalamata olives. Um, you can do like sun-dried tomatoes. You can do all kinds of stuff with this recipe. So it's really nice and versatile. Okay, just get this. All spread out. Okay, so we're just going to let this rise again for about 10 minutes. I'm going to start heating my oven up to about 415 degrees. So there's our focaccia, nice and lightly browned and nicely baked. And so uh, what you can do with this is you can cut it, make sandwiches, you can cut them lengthwise and do all kinds of fun stuff with it. Have it on the side of with spaghetti and sauce. Excellent. If you wanted to, you could put some um, salt on this before you baked it. We left it off. But uh, it smells great in here and a little too hot to taste, so sorry. 
But I um, hope you enjoy this recipe, and if you'd like to check it out and give it a try, you can do that at veganagogo.com. And if you'd like to email us, you can do that at fans at veganagogo.com. So thanks for joining us, and I hope you like this recipe. Keep faking.